Anyways, my own teleportation. Let's go back home and let's drop off some of the loot northeast. There you go. Yeah, this is kind of semi-cheating when you can teleport when you're basically over encumbered, you know, one pound under right now, but you still can't move. <laughs> but yeah, let's just go back home. I guess grind up some of the loot that we're not going to use and, of course, put up the other loot that we may use in the future. And then, uh, of course, we're going to put some of the loot in our Spino's inventory, have them follow me and all that kind of stuff. What else did we get? Uh, a flak, a Mazercraft flak chest piece, which is only 320 armor. Pfft. A journeyman. 161 weapon damage uh, crossbow. That's journeyman, and it's still less than our heckin'... What is this? Ramshackle. Golly! Now we have a Mastercraft assault rifle there. 189%. 23 uh, armor rating flak, journeyman flak, chest piece. I'll uh, grind that thing up. Titanosaur platform saddle. Golly, I've never even tamed one before. Uh, another heckin' Parasaur Ethereum saddle right there. Golly. Uh, another Mastercraft assault rifle, journeyman assault rifle. Apprentice riot leggings. Those are pretty good. Uh, riot in general, but 190 armor rating compared to our heckin' 500 up there. So, yeah, I'll probably end up grinding these. Uh, it's kind of crazy of me to say that about heckin' riot armor. <laughs> but yeah, and then of course we have Free Curry there as well. So, uh, I think we're relatively close to our base right now. Is my, uh... Oh, I thought it was up, so that, that's good. I thought it, it seems like the game is rather bright right now, so I thought I had my gamma up. Either way, let's get our Spino and our Dimorphanon. That's what it's called. I keep calling it Dimetronon. I keep calling it the Lava Source. I keep calling it everything but... Uh, right? Oh, there you go. Okay, let's put the stuff in your inventory. So there you go. Keep calling it everything but a Dimorphanon, golly. <laughs> Anyways, let's have you follow me. Uh, oh, man, those buttons got reset too? Hold on. Okay, there we go. We got it working that time. Yeah, everything got heckin' reset recently. I really don't know why, but I, that, that, that just goes to show that I should heckin' back everything up, like, before and after recording, not just my saves. So, I guess I have to reset, uh, or make a backup of my heckin' game settings and all that kind of stuff to make sure I don't have to redo them, like, every five episodes. Either way, we made it back to the base. Actually, yeah, we spawned, like, really close to the base right there. That's actually kind of surprising. Usually, it spawns us relatively far away, so that's good. Either way, what is all the loot that we got right here? Uh, what was the heaviest? Oh, gosh! The heckin' Titanosaur platform saddles, 200 pounds. Yeah, no wonder I was basically over and coming right there. Sheesh. So let's go grab that. I don't know if I actually ever tame one, so I, I'm, I'm going to grind it up. I don't know what we're going to get. Let's see. Titanosaur. Oh, I can't see what you need to craft it with, but, uh, let me go to... Here we go. You need 4,000 metal ingots, 4,000 hide, 1,600 cementing paste, and 2,000 fiber to craft one. And this is like, what, journeyman or something like that? Yeah, journeyman, so... Hopefully we get a lot of heckin' stuff out of this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Salvage. 4,000 metal. I, I, I might have had some. No, yeah, we, we upgraded our armor and stuff. I actually got like 4,000 metal right there. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Jeez, yeah, now we can actually heckin' upgrade our stuff, right? I'm sure. Let's see. What about our flag? Blah, blah, blah. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can upgrade those. Or, uh, that's repair. Whoops. Attempt to upgrade. Boom. Upgraded. Uh, I failed and I lost 10% of the materials. Man. Ooh, that skipped a level. Nice. And everything's upgraded now. Awesome. So, 1,300 armor rating helmet, 1,400 armor rating leggings, 800, eh, 800 <laughs> armor rating boots, and 1,000 armor rating gauntlets. Man, our armor rating went from what? 2,500? Oh, did I really try and put the helmet on my leggings thing? Uh, oh, they're right there. Whoops. And now we're at 5,718 armor rating. We doubled our armor rating right there, you guys. A little bit more than double now. Oh, man, that is amazing. Anyways, let's, uh, let's put some of the loot up over here. And, uh, I guess I can put up, like, the, the focal chili and the mind wipe tonic and mushroom stew and all that kind of stuff, uh, over here to make sure it doesn't spoil in the stew's chest. As well as grab the other loot that we got over here, like the saddles, the hecking guns, and other stuff, so let's grab those and go put them up over here. Definitely want to use them, you guys, so let's put them up over here, and, uh, we also have the tech helmet. Yeah, I think I showed this earlier, but I can't wear it because I didn't defeat any bosses yet, and it's like a, a, a way of, like, I guess making sure you can't, like, get overpowered like as you're new or anything like that by just immediately getting tech armor and just blazing right through everything even though i can have armor plus armor which is crazy good <laughs> either way let's see what what about a uh, fabricated sniper rifle which one do we want to have in our inventory i guess we'll have this one i don't have any ammo for it unfortunately so we can't really use it but i guess if we want to zoom in on something uh, i suppose we could <laughs> use that for that right let's see yeah look at this and uh what about if i Oh god, I need to reset my uh, my stuff over here. I'll, I'll accidentally eat everything all the time. So uh, let's put these back to where they were previously. I think that's good. Put food there. I put the stimulus back up in my inventory. There you go. As well as the medical brews. I guess we'll keep those up there. And I think this is fine. But yeah, let's see. So let's go back to pickaxe. And was it like this? Oh, I can't do it because the shield is in the way. Whoops. So let's see. 
There it is, zoomed in with the spyglass, which is cool. Uh, what about using me? It's about the same, but can't shoot anything because I don't have ammo, unfortunately, so that sucks. Oh yeah, and I guess uh, because the spyglass is attached, I could actually see that uh, get your source as well, so that's cool. But either way, let, let's see what we need for... Is that a regular? I think it is just a regular... Uh, Apprentice Fabricator Sniper Rifle. Okay, so it's not like a, a plus or anything like that, so we're going to need a Sniper Rifle, or Advanced Sniper Bullet, so we need uh, two metal and get some 12 gunpowder. We do have charcoal now, so what's happening? Oh man, uh, a Raptor? Wait, why is it pro- Oh, it's because of the heckin' Easter event! Look at that thing! It's like Easter colored, like purple, yellow, and like blue and stuff. Man! I should probably tame something with the Easter event going on right now, you guys. It's kind of crazy. I think it's going on for a few more days, even though Easter was like earlier this week. Either way, uh, Easter way. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. Either way, let's, uh, I guess we'll put up the sniper rifle because we don't have anything for it right now. But we did get uh, charcoal throughout the entirety of the series, so we might be able to get some gunpowder. We can make a gunpowder. Wait, what happened to all my charcoal from earlier? Should I have charcoal over here? Yeah, look at that. I have charcoal right there. And metal over here, too, that needs to be smelted. I guess I ran out of uh, materials to smelt it with, huh? So uh, I must have run out of wood or something like that. Because I've been... Yeah, I have wood over here, so... Might as well uh, put, like, 100 wood in each thing. Get even more charcoal. Start smelting the, uh, the metal over here. Yeah, we did. I, I knew I had some metal somewhere, and I guess we just didn't smelt it. So that's, that kind of sucks. Either way, yeah, we're going to get a little bit of charcoal now. And we have some charcoal in my inventory. I don't know why I wasn't able to make any more gunpowder. Oh, I need spark powder, too. Why, why is it not able to bring spark powder over here? We have spark powder somewhere else. At least I can make some right now, so, uh, let's see. How many can I make? I can make 17. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Then, yeah, look at this. Now we can make, uh, spark powder. I don't know why, or, uh, gunpowder, so. Yeah, I don't know why the, uh, the recipe wasn't working earlier, but. Yeah, now we can actually make gunpowder, so that's great. Uh, might want to make a shotgun, though, just because, uh, we're making gunpowder. Might as well have something we can actually use it with. Do we have a shotgun? Before I do that, <laughs> we probably have a hacking shotgun over here, right? Sheesh. Let's go to shotgun. We do. So 108% primitive pump action shotgun. It's not like upgrade or anything like that. So that sucks. Uh, what else do we have over here? Oh man, we have two tech helmets now. Nice. Uh, is there anything else over here I can grind up though? Uh, I guess maybe like flak armor, like regular flak. Like anything that's like baseline and not like upgrade or anything like that. So I'll grab that. Uh, you know, in case I die, at least I'll have some flak armor to put on over here. So I guess I'll, I'll keep all of these. There you go. It's going to be basically a full set of flak armor right there, so that's going to be awesome. And uh, that's the upgrade or augmentation thing. I don't need to use that there. Sheesh. Let's grind all these up. So we have 306 or 3,671 metal. And uh, we only went up like 30 or so metal right there. Really? And I even expertly salvaged the thing right there and I only got like heckin' 30 metal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, there's nothing. Anyways, let's see. Where is the thing I was working on? Oh, the uh, gunpowder over here. So, yeah, see if we can make. Yeah, look at that. 16 more crafts, and you make like two at a time. Oh, you only make one at a time. Man, I think you make two at a time with the spark powder, though, so that's good. But yeah, now we have an actual shotgun. Do we have any shotgun uh, ammo over here? Uh, no, we don't, so that sucks. Uh, oh, harpoon gun. Yeah, I don't have a heckin' use for that right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, gosh. We have three tech helmets. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see that, you guys. Holy heck. But to uh, make shotgun ammo, where is that? Simple shotgun ammo, there is right there, so I need three gunpowder, one metal and getting simple bullet, so I guess we'll do that. And uh, what about the tactical shotgun? A little bit more expensive for the ammo, but I assume it does more damage. But the actual tactical shotgun itself is 300 uh, metal and gets 250 polymer and 250 cement base. Yeah, I can't afford that, unfortunately. Uh, we need to go to the smithy and actually make it, though, but I wonder uh, how much gunpowder we have. We have 35, so we can make some. We need to make some simple uh, bullets first, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that. So let's go over here, go to simple... And, I don't know, let's, let's try and make, like, 15 of those. There you go. And, oh, yeah, we're only making, like, oh, well, at least with this one, you make two at a time, so that's good. But how many of these can I make? Uh, I can make a shotgun shell, you guys. Nice. <laughs> but I need more gunpowder, and I need more metal ingots, which we have both, like, slowly coming on the way, because we're making a charcoal over here. We're making metal ingots, and, of course, with the charcoal, we can make more gunpowder, so that's good. But I guess it's only a matter of time before we're able to make a, a pretty significant amount of uh, shotgun ammo, so that's awesome. We don't have a long neck rifle? I thought I made one a long time ago, huh? I guess not. Let's make a long neck rifle. That, that's probably a, uh, very long neck rifle. And, uh, yeah, we are high enough level now, right, to get the trank darts. Yeah, there's right there, trank darts. Yeah, we need simple, uh, rifle ammo for that, and three narcotics and three metal. Yeah, it, it'll probably make more sense, honestly, to make the long neck rifle first. I thought I made one a while ago. Do we have one over here? We may have one. Long neck. No, we don't. Okay, well, we have a shotgun before we even have a long neck rifle. What in the world is going on? I know it's a long neck rifle. There you go. Grab one of those bad boys. And there we go. Now we have the long neck rifle. Nice. But if we want to make some trank darts to 
potentially tame things with uh, that does less damage and more torpidity compared to a, uh, a trank arrow like this one that we're using down here with a crossbow. Uh, let's see if we can actually make any of those. So that would be weapons, ammo. There it is right there. And I think we need to make some of these. So how many can I make? I need more gunpowder. Golly. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're getting very much charcoal there. It's going to take quite a while to get a lot of charcoal to make a significant amount of gunpowder. I'm going to like manually move it over here. So that's going to take a while. Uh, for spark powder, though, can I make a pretty good one? Yeah, we can make spark powder no problemo, so. Yeah, I guess all I need to do now is just make uh, a bunch of gunpowder like this. 10 crafts, 12. There's a one-to-one -one crafting thing, so. Yeah, once we're done with all these, we can actually make 26 gunpowder, so that's good. So we can make more spark powder. Maybe I'll get, uh, maybe, maybe I'll try and make like 50. So there you go. 50 uh, spark powder on the way, so that's good. And hopefully I can actually uh, pull the charcoal from here over there in the future. I know the same thing happens with like a chemistry station for some strange reason. I can't like pull charcoal or cementy paste or whatever from the chemistry station or to the chemistry station or whatever, you know, so that sucks. Hopefully we're able to make some of these trank darts though, right? And yes, we can. Okay, so we can make like four. So that's awesome. So I guess I'll keep that in my inventory, especially because we have the Lonic rifle now. So there we go. And I guess we'll replace the long or uh, the crossbow with a Lonic rifle for right now. Uh, I guess I'll put the shotgun up because I don't really have very much ammo for it, so it doesn't really make sense to actually carry one around. So I guess I'll put it up for right now, so there you go. And I'm going to keep the crossbow, I'm going to keep the arrows, just as kind of like a backup. Just in case, uh, you know, I run out of anything for my Lonic rifle, I'll still have stuff with my crossbow to use, you know, so that seems reasonable. Let's see if we can actually upgrade the Lonic rifle, though. See if we can make it a little bit more effective. Boom! Upgraded without me even adding anything over here. Do I want to upgrade it again? Uh, if anything, maybe I should upgrade my sword and my hatchet. Just kind of, there you go. Sword is upgraded, hatchet upgraded, what a long neck, long neck rifle upgraded too, nice. Might as well upgrade my heckin' torch. <laughs> Man, I need more stone to upgrade my torch, really? <laughs> That's kind of, just nonsense. Alright, forget about that. How's everything else in my inventory doing, though? Do I want to upgrade, uh, everything over here that's ramshackle, though? Maybe, just kind of get it on par with the, uh, oh, there you go. Upgraded, upgraded. Oh, man, skipped a level, nice. And, uh, upgraded, nice. So now, I, I was trying to get everything to match, now now they're not, because now we have a heckin' journeyman uh, gauntlets over there. But, now our armor rating went from like 5,000 up to 9,159, oh my heckin' gosh! This is just crazy, you guys, oh my golly, jeez! Anyways, let's get the bug zapper down there, that's good. And, uh, oh! Why is it so dark in here? I don't know why it's, it feels dark. Either way, I, I did want to see, we have, uh, missions over here. What else do we have mission-wise? There's that one fishing one that we're trying to do where there's a scavenger hunt, there's a, a race, yeah, there's the fishing one right there. And that's it, I think. Oh, and then there's Spy versus Spino, which I guess... To find the Brute Spino, yeah. And then there's another one for this one. Yeah, the Sarko, Brute Sarko, so... Yeah, pretty simple missions ahead of us, you guys. Kinda wanna talk to, uh, what is her name? Oh, there are more hexagons, nice. Let's talk to Helena. Exchange well, hexagons. You're keen to spend. Yeah. Oh, did they add new stuff over here? I feel like they might have, because I thought it was, like, the same amount of rows as there were columns, and now there's, like, empty spaces over here. Either they added stuff or they took stuff away, I don't know. Either way, uh, I kind of wanted to buy a tier 2... Did I ever buy a tier 2 loot crate? I don't know, I can't remember. But I do, I, I could afford a heckin' tier 2 and a tier 3 at the same time, oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, and I also got a comment, or multiple comments a while ago saying, hey, uh, you know you could actually go to Helena's shop to buy silica pearls. So there they are right there. 125 hex guns for five. Uh, I'd say it was worth it going on that trip to at least find those silica pearls. So now if I, I want to get them without spending hex guns, I know where to go. And of course now we have like 300, you know, maybe less than that now in storage. So that's awesome. But it's like a, an emergency backup if I have a lot of hex guns. I guess I'll buy them. And what else do we have here? Oh, oh there's gunpowder here too. Probably getting comments about that. We have a lot of uh, hex guns, you guys. You guys want to get... Mm, let's get... Syringe 85 right there. You know what, let's get, uh, I don't know, 15 of those. So it's 15 times 20, so that would be, what, like 300 gunpowder, I think? Oh, gosh, it literally says down there. I'm stupid. I'm over here doing quick maths. <laughs> well, at least I got it right. Jeez. Convert 525 hex guns into 300 gunpowder. That seems reasonable enough, so let's do that. Is there anything else here I want to buy? Oh, there's propellant over here. We could use that for the flamethrower, I think. So that's good if I want to get that. There's sand and, and, and other stuff over here. Even element. 2,000 for one element. Sheesh. Cryopod right there. Didn't I say I want to get one? And I never did. I guess we could just, it, it'd be good to have at least one, you know? Just have a cryopod in our inventory. 
mm, we have seventy three thousand. You know, I'll, I'll get I'll get three. Let's get three, three cryopods. That seems reasonable. Oh gosh, wait, what? I got six. Did I accidentally? Wait, did it glitch? Yeah, it says. Yeah, okay. It said I got six, but I actually got three. Okay, I was wondering, like, what happened there? <laughs> but that's good. All right. Either way, let's go over here. So, uh, now that we have the spark powder. All right. Got gunpowder. <laughs> now we have that. Now we can make more of the, uh, let's make like 15 of those. There we go. 15 on the way. That's great. But now we can actually make more trank darts. So that's good. So we have a lot of narcotics, of course. I made a ton of them while taming that spino back in the day. So we have a lot of that to tame a bunch or uh, to craft a bunch of trank arrows. So that's awesome. Let's try and make as many as we can so we can actually make... 26 more. We can make like 30. We're going to have like 40 almost here in just a minute, you guys. Once all these are actually hacking craft. Holy heck. Yeah, we have 17 right there with like 20. Yeah, okay. We're going to have like 37 or 38 here in just a moment. And I think we're still... Yeah, we still have gunpowder over here. So we're still able to make more of the uh, simple rifle ammo. So I'd say like 30-something, 40-ish uh, tranquilizer darts. That's, that's still a good number. Yeah, we have another 19 right there. Yeah, 36. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't think I need to get too much more than that. If I'm trying to tame something that takes more than 36, I can trank darts then... I might need to move on to something a little bit better than that, right? Sheesh. But yeah, now now I feel like, uh, oh, I might as well load it into the thing so I don't have to do it a little bit later. So there you go. But yeah, I feel like now we're actually pretty prepared to move on to other stuff, you guys. So glad that I stayed home and, uh, you know what, I'm going to make a uh, cryopod folder. So cryo, oh, oh, pods. There you go. Uh, I feel like uh, coming back to the base every now and then and just kind of repairing our armor, improving our armor, weapons, uh, all that kind of stuff is definitely warranted. That way we kind of tech up and you know, don't don't stagnate with the same stuff over and over again for too long, you know. So I feel like we're a lot more prepared nowadays, so that's great. Uh, there was something. Was it my pickaxe? That was already uh, apprentice. I might actually be able to upgrade everything over here to, like, journeyman or something like that, instead of uh, everything being apprentice. Let me see if I can actually do that, though. So there you go. Get my tools upgraded. Yep, there you go. Journeyman, journeyman. Journeyman. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it for the rifle, though. Oh, boom! There you go. 309% uh, damage right there. Amazing. Can I upgrade the torch? Still can't upgrade the torch. Oh, it's just seven stone though, you know. <laughs> let me get the seven egg stone. Yeah, look at that. We have egg like, thousands. So let me let me let me go overboard and get ten stone over here and upgrade my torch. <laughs> there we go, nice. Amazing. Armor though, I don't know if I want to upgrade that. Even though we still have like a thousand egg and metal over here. I think this literally over nine thousand armor rating we have right now. I don't think we're gonna have to really upgrade that for quite a while, so <laughs> let's uh let's not get too overboard over here, you guys. So either way, what mission are we gonna do? Oh, Man, I, I went through the whole hexagon thing and all that kind of stuff, and I didn't even get the uh, tier 3 loot box like I wanted to do, so there we go. Let's get this tier 3 loot box, and it doesn't actually give us a physical thing. It's going to immediately give us the loot, so let's hope that it's good, you guys. Boom. Oh, gosh. It actually did give us, give us more than one thing right there. What all did we get? Was it trash? What? We got journeyman riot gauntlets. Garbage. We got another preserving man. Hey. Got a wooden bench, a large bear trap, a pressure plate. Nearby devices went stepped out. I don't even know that existed. Huh. You do that, like, next to a door or something? I don't know. Tree sap tap. I don't even know if there are any redwoods in all of uh, Genesis. Another uh, forge. So I guess that'd be useful. A torch. I that could be useful. Medium taxidermy base. I've never done the taxidermy stuff, you guys. And they gave me a blueprint for a transponder tracker. Uh, what? What, <laughs> what use is that to me? Golly, these loot boxes are absolute garbage. I, don't, I can't remember if I ever got the tier 3 or a tier... Two. We got the tier one. I remember that. I think it was like a Parasitherium saddle or something like that, right? It was like a master, or it was a Mastercraft gotcha saddle, wasn't it? I don't know if we got a tier two, and of course tier three. We actually got more than one thing right here, which is good. But all of it's relatively trash. Wall torch, I guess we could actually use because it is relatively dark in our base. So I might as well uh, actually place one down over here. So there you go, light it up a little bit. Maybe I, maybe I'll put it on the other side because we got the forges over here, you know. So pick that up. There you go. And I suppose we can get some wood and put that inside there and burn it and get some charcoal out of it, huh? Uh, oh, speaking of charcoal, we have more charcoal in storage. I don't know why. What? Oh, whatever. Let's put 76 uh, wood inside this thing. Burn that up. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it's lighting it up a little bit. Yeah, I can definitely use another one over there, another one there, and another one there, I suppose. But we'll worry about that a little bit later. Or off camera or something like that. We have a bench. I don't know where I put this. I don't know what I actually do with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it, uh, here you go. Put it, like, in the heckin' foyer, the entrance area of our heckin' base. There you go. Can I sit on it? Oh, I can! Hey, look at that. I'm just sitting down on the bench there. <laughs> so pointless. Anyways, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have the taxidermy base. Uh, I guess we'll put that outside. Maybe. You know what, I'm gonna turn up the gamma. There it goes. Really dark out here, you guys. Holy heck. Uh... I don't know what I... 
Uh, maybe I'll put it like right here so we can meme around with that a little bit later, I suppose, huh? So what do I do with this? At least I harvested Dermis to show off your prowess. What? Yeah, I'll have to look into uh, how to use that hacking taxidermy thing. But either way, now we have two preserving bins, so that's good. So if I run out of room in that one, I have another one to place stuff inside of, so that's awesome. So there you go. And uh, we have a bear trap, so I don't know. I don't know where I'd actually put this thing. Maybe I'll put it like over here or something. Mm, anything attacks our base? I don't want any of our own critters to step on it. I don't know. I'll put it right there. Pick up, uh, oh, does it close whenever you're nearby or something like that? Or do I have to activate it? Hold on. Oh, it's opening now. Now, what if I step on it? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait for something else to come over here and I can step on it and kill it. Hopefully do some good damage to it, right? All right, well, I'm pretty much ready to go on an adventure. We've, we've been at home taking up and... Oh, oh God! <laughs> I completely forgot about the bear trap right there. We just ran right into it. Of course, there's no... Uh, oh, God, you have to, like, repair that. Oh, it's probably because uh, this guy stepped on it, right? Yeah, well, how do I... Uh, uh, I guess I'll just demolish it. I don't know how to get this guy out of here. <laughs> That's like the first time I've ever actually, uh, yeah, let's demolish it. Sure, why not? Yeah, a little bit of fiber, metal, hide, all that kind of stuff. I guess, I guess that'll be better than nothing, right? Oh, there's like even a, uh, an Easter colored pack of Rattosaurus over here. Really cool. Either way, yeah, let's figure out which one. Oh, do we want to do the Spino one? Let's, uh, dismount. Let's talk to Helena. Where, oh, there she is right there. Can I say hello to get some, uh, I guess not. Either way, let's go to... Oh, wait, whoops, yeah. I don't need to teleport just yet. I need to figure out which one I'm going to do first, right? So, let's do... And for this next one, let's do the medium one. King of Spring... Uh, I don't know if I want to do a race, honestly. And I'm like, I guess maybe we could do it. You guys want to do it? Because we haven't done a race in a while. Only 700, heckin'... Only 900 for the alpha one. Do I want to... I don't want to try the alpha. I think we've only ever done like one race before, so let's just do the beta. So let's let us select that on the map. 3,000 meters away. Yeah, we want to fast travel away, so that's going to be which way? Let me open up the spy glass. We want to head due south, so yeah, let's uh actually talk to Helena again. My own teleportation, bog south. So let's go that way. Let's go do the second race. And, uh, you know, just because we haven't done a race in a while and because we just got done doing a lot of uh, battling right there with the... Uh, Whatever that one was called, I forgot it already. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll just do this race, get that out of the way. And then after this, we have the Brute Spido, and then there's a Brute Sarko, and then a Scavenger Hunt, and I think that's it. I think we'll be able to move on to the Winter Biome, the, uh, what's it called again? What's the official name? Arctic Biome, I guess? Here we go! Alright, well, yeah, let's, let's teleport over here to the south, and hopefully it's not going to be too far away still, here we are. right? Right on target! Uh, oh wow, only 500 meters away. Yeah, we're like right there. I don't have to pause or anything like that. Holy heck, that's great. All right, let's head on over there. Uh, yep, we're in quadruped mode, so we can move a little bit faster. Thankfully not taking any uh, poison from that, so that's great. But yeah, let's go over here. Let's go do the uh, King of Swing Grand Prix. And yeah, we do have better armor and weapons and uh, yeah, beta right there. Let's do that one. You're fast, but let's test how fast you are. All right. But yeah, it, it, I guess we'll test them out a little bit later. Survivor, time to race. Oh, look at that little icon Helena had right there. That was so cute. Anyways, oh god, was it? Oh, I'm on a Bloodstalker. Whoa, I don't know how to control this guy, though. I'm being... I'm being uh, attacked or targeted right there, so... How do I do this? Uh, I don't know. I guess just go through this stuff here. I don't know how to... Hold on. How do I... Oh, oh, there's like a... Uh, there's like a tongue or something like that. What? Hold on. There's like a, a targeting system. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's like I'm spinning a web or something. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Look at this. It's like I can Spider-Man or something like that. Reel me in, Hater. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's a lot easier in first per... Oh, God. Well, he does jump up pretty high, honestly. So this is cool. Definitely want to use a... Definitely want to tame a heckin' Bloodstock, you guys. Well, we did beta. So we're already falling behind, I'm sure. Yeah, there he goes. Now we're... uh. Oh, man, I really need to get to the controls of this guy. Oh, God. Man, what in the world? I was in first person now seeing myself right there. Yeah, let's get rid of the spyglass. It's kind of distracting right there. And I guess this is automatically... Oh, God. Detecting, like, surfaces for me to potentially grab onto, perhaps? Oh, I accidentally grabbed onto a cliff right there. Yeah, here we go. Ah, I didn't grab anything right there. Give him the flick. Oh, 19 of these little things. I've only gotten three of them right now. God, these camera angles are terrible. Man, okay, forget about first person. I can't even see right now. We are running out of time. Yeah, I know. About a minute and a half. Oh, wait, no, 30 seconds left. Oh, my God. 
Where in the world's the next thing? I can't even see it. Did I skip one? I feel like I might have, you guys. Hold on. Let's see if we can actually grab. Oh, God. Grab onto that tower over there. Then hold it to the real. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it now. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to do this again later, you guys. Holy heck. And, uh, let's see if I can grab onto that. There, man. At least I'm able to, uh, like, climb the side of this thing, right? So that's good. How do I let go? There we go. Oh, I grabbed the mushroom there accidentally. Whoops. What? Oh, jeez. I thought I died right there. Golly. Yeah, I need to get the heck and hang of it. But, uh, let me set you to neutral. Let me kill all the insect swarms. Oh, God. Yeah, forget about that. Yeah, it, it definitely takes some time to get used to, you guys. I might even... I might even switch over to, like, Gamma or something like that, just so I Because that is the first time I've ever mounted on heckin' Bloodstalker, so... Definitely need a little bit of time to, uh, to get used to it. Oh, there you go, so that spawned us in right there, so that's good. And... What, what can I grab onto? I guess maybe the cliff or something like that, I have no idea. Get set! Go! Alright, let's see if we grab onto that cliff over there. Swing us over. Oh god, it's swinging us around? Oh, there we go. I had to let go of it first. And there we go. There we go. We're getting the hang of it a little bit better this time, you guys. That's good. Let's keep going. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is really effective, you guys. Let go. Grab onto that. Oh, man. Ah. Well, it's, it's effective once you get the hang of it. Literally, because you're hanging with like a... I don't even know what he's... A tongue or, or spinning a web or, or whatever that is. I don't know. But there we go. Let go. Grab onto that branch. There we go. Awesome. Alright, let's grab onto another branch up here. And Ah. Did I? Oh, I missed? I missed! No, I missed the checkpoint! No! There we go, we got it. Grab onto that over there. Oh, whoa! We'll have to go around all this. So, there we go. And hopefully I actually... Oh, man, I got... Ah, I sucked into that a little bit too tight, I guess, around that corner. Man! Let's see if I can grab that over there. I don't know. Oh, got it. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> the very first time. Well, second time, I guess you could say. Using the Bloodstalker. So it is going to take a little bit of time to get used to him. But I'd say we're doing a decent job, honestly, on the second attempt. Not like trying to toot my own horn or anything like that. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Man. I keep on hitting. I'm hitting like the gr What? Are you, what is? What is he grabbing onto? I don't know. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, get up there. 20 seconds left. We're at 6 out of 9. That's it? What? Oh my god, this is terrible. There we go, we got it there. Jeez. You know what, I might skip on this one. Maybe I'll do like the bog, like scavenger hunt or something like that next. Just because, oh, there you go, and then... Oh, don't want it. Man, ah, I reeled in a little bit. What? Let go, let go. There we go. I get it? I got it. That's good. Oh, let... What? Man, I don't even know what I got right there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tricky. Let's let's do Gamma now. I feel like that's going to be a little bit better for us. Gamma instead of Beta, especially because this is going to be our third time ever riding the Bloodstalkers. So let's uh, let's mount up just like Helena said apparently right there, even though there is uh, no actual... Oh, yeah, now we're ready. Uh, sound for that for some strange reason, but now... Get set, go! All right, let's go. Now, where is this going to take us? Okay, that's good. Let go. There you go. That's good. And let's go this way. And grab onto something. Oh, let go. Oh, is it reeling me in? I think it is. Okay, there we go. That technically counted. That's good. <laughs> Try and reel up to this. There you go. I can't. I, I'm like, you guys are literally fe seeing my footage, so. I can't. Oh, man. I'm just trying to see. I'm in third person, too, so. Oh, there we go. Let go. Go through this. Much time? Oh, we have like five minutes for this one. I feel like this is going to be a lot better, you guys. Let's grab onto that. There we go. We're a lot better this time around. Perfect. Oh my gosh, reel us in. Come on. I have to go down there. Yes. So let's not let's not reel in. Let's just keep swinging. There we go. Yep. So I don't have to always reel in, of course, with this this tongue web, whatever it is. I'm about to figure it out some other time. Let go. There we go. Now we reel us in, and of course that pulls us straight towards the checkpoint. And there we go. Yeah, I know, I'm going. Wait, let go! What, what, I had two of them? Oh, you can have two of these at the same time, apparently. Holy heck. All right, let's, there we go. Let go of that. I guess you can't let go. You always have to, like, grab onto something else. So that sucks, trying to get used to that. Man, this is, this is very strange trying to 
Oh, reel us into this. There you go. And now to go that away. But yeah, we're up to 9 out of 19. Yeah, we're doing a lot better this time around. I, I, oh god. Yeah, look at how far away he's grabbing onto stuff. You guys, it's crazy. Grab onto something that away. There we go. Oh, oh, grab that way. There we go. We're grabbing some. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah, I know how, uh, why you guys want me to get the heckin' Bloodstalker out. God, how many of these is he grabbing onto? There we go. Let go of that. Let, oh my gosh. Now I know why you guys want me to tame one, because these guys are extremely good for getting around the map. Here in the bog. Oh my god. You can actually reel into something. Or grab on. I'm going. I'm going. Oh man. There we go. That's good. Let's see if we can grab on something over here. There we go. Through that checkpoint. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Bloodstalker professionals are freaking out in the comments. <laughs> I know it. Oh, let's go through. Oh. Oh, don't reel in. Oh my god. Can I just go through this one? Yeah, the thing is, the, the camera angles are very tricky to try and understand here. But yeah, we have three and a half minutes left. I'm trying to jump and then... What is he... Oh, he's still grabbed onto... What? Oh, man, he's always grabbed onto something. I don't know how to make him not grab onto something. Grab onto that. There you go. And we'll use this to propel ourselves this way. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Grab on that and grab onto... Ah. Uh, it's gonna work. Oh, there we go. And just swing. Don't don't reel in. Oh, oh, reel in a little bit there. Oh, grab onto that. Perfect. And go down there. Go down there. Grab it. There we go. Nice. Oh, and through the checkpoint. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, Wait, where are we going? I'm trying to see. Oh, all the way over there. Two minutes, forty-one seconds left. Am I going to be able to do it? Maybe. Oh gosh, can't see. I can't see anything. Man, let go of it. Let. Oh, there you go. Oh, go that way. Go that way. Up, 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 up. Grab that. There we go. Oh, grab that tree in the background. Yes. Grab that over there. Oh my gosh. We're we're doing it. We're doing it slowly. We're slow, we're doing it slowly. But share with you guys. Come on. Only three more. Oh, I can get this one on the. Yeah, I can get that one on the ground. Perfect. I can see that one in the background. We have two minutes left. I think we sh we should be able to do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's my spino in the background. Just someone he has a green outline. Cool. I'm trying. Oh, my God. He's always stuck on something. Oh, gosh. This propelled us really far away. Man. I don't know where to go. This way. Oh, it's telling us where to go. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, fireworks back there. Yes. Go through the. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I better be after all that, golly. That's terrible. And we got dismounted, and there we go. Jeez, that was terrible. Yeah, it was also pretty terrible, too. Man, the camera angles all over the place getting stuck on the leaves and trees and stuff. For my third, what was that, third? Third or fourth attempt right there, I don't know. That wasn't too bad. Just trying to slowly get a hang of the heckin' Bloodstalker. Man, now to get the heckin' bugs out of here again. There we go. Oh, man. Where is my... Oh, I guess I'm holding it, but I can't physically see me holding it there for some strange reason. But yeah, there he goes. That should kill all the heckin' bugs. But there we go. We finally can got the, uh, the, the Grand Prix thing out of there. Oh, that's why it's called King of Swing, too. Because, of course, you're swinging from one tree branch to another. Now, what all do we get right there? Primitive Brano Platform Saddle. Probably gonna get a lot of stuff from that, honestly. Ramshackle Sword with 117% weapon damage. What do we have down here? 240% for our, uh... German down there. Energy Brew, Mushroom Stew, Lazarus Chowder, another sword we can get some metal out of, and a uh, primitive flat chest piece we can get some metal out of, so that's good. Not bad right there, you guys. Honestly, not too bad. But, then again, the actual, uh, me doing the Bloodstalker swinging and stuff like that, that was pretty heckin' bad, you gotta admit. <laughs> Could've been a way better, but, yeah, definitely want to get the hang of, uh, the Bloodstalker. That, that definitely makes me want to tame one, get a little bit of better practice, and then maybe a little bit later, we can come back to King of Swing, try and do the actual beta, and then I'm like, we we probably could have done the beta if I if I had you know a little bit more experience right there rather than going back to Gamma right there. But I don't think it's really too big of a deal. I I, I feel like us doing the beta or Gamma right there to at least get the the feel for the Bloodstalker, give us a little bit more time on the leaderboard or whatever that is, and you know actually successfully do that one. So that's good. So anyways, let's go bio teleportation bog northeast. There you go. Let's teleport back home. And I guess I'll end off the episode right here, because it's probably like 50,000 years long. Jeez. So let's untrack the mission. So there you go, untrack the mission. There you go, noise. And uh, I suppose when we come back next episode, we'll probably end up doing the 
Brute Starco, Brute Spino mission. That way we can kind of test out our new upgraded armor, our new upgraded weapons, and all that kind of stuff. As well as uh, just ride around on our Spino and just easily find the footprints super duper fast. Because of course our Spino is a little bit faster than our previous crater, which was, what was it? Here we are, right on target. Yep. The uh, Iguanon I think we had last time, right? So, and of course we were a little bit, uh, because he's so big, we have a bigger field of view to actually find those footprints and stuff like that, you know? So, that, those two missions to find the Brute Sarko and the Brute Stego, or, uh, was it? Uh, Sarko and Spino, yeah, I'm literally writing one right now. <laughs> those should be really, really easy next episode, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving, golly, by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of research on these taxes or anything so I can actually figure out how to do that. But be sure to hit that subscribe button now to put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back, we're going to be finishing up the last few missions for the bog. And then we'll finally move on. I guess I'll grind that up. To the next biome, the Arctic biome, I think it was. So that's going to be really cool. I think our armor we have currently right now. Hypothermal insulation 353. Uh, maybe that's going to be good for us. We also have really good fortitude now, which, speaking of such, we do have a lot. You know, let's do fortitude. There you go. Just because we're probably going to be doing Arctic here in like one or two episodes, definitely want to have really good fortitude and make sure we don't hack it freeze to death or anything like that out in the uh, Arctic area. But like I said earlier, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis. Definitely not. Man, it, it reset my uh, my emotes too. Let me do, uh, which one was I doing? I was doing the turkey one, yes. I was doing turkey. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis. <laughs> oh, bye there. Oh.